road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar. How do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team has been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed. He's got power. All the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion. Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, Jake. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we look up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. championship fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Master. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. So here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike Tyson out of Brooklyn, New York. Stylistically, you're going to see a lot of uppercuts and hooks. Don't blink or you'll miss this fight. The Tyson flurry is coming. Perhaps the takedown defense, though, will be tested. If this fight stays upright, that is a problem for the opposition. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. there and oftentimes DC it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Oh nice combination. Straight right hand no good. Frantic pace early on to this one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice combination there. Nicely done with the kick there. You gotta be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected. Oh goal. man, John, they're trading early. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, big left. Nice job by him defensively there. 
Straight right hand counter. This striker has come out swinging, and he's a very aggressive guy, but you gotta be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you gotta slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finishing. Speed sports get taken out to his back, but ideally for him, he wants to be knocking guys out. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can turn the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Belly. Postures on Leon Belly. He's raining down Brawling Paul. He has to move or the fight is going to get stopped. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Tyson getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. These guys are going at it. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of it. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, that gilly is tight. Defense. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Tyson's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Nice transition. Get them out here. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Okay, keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. And he blocks the shot there. Gets to the single collar tie. You buy the ticket to see fights like this. What a fight. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He is cut above the eye here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? You ready? Let's go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC and in major takeaways after the previous five minutes. That both of these strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of both types of strikes. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh my goodness! Big right hand. Tyson's overhand punch. He's hooked now. Huge shot there. Resistance, he 
continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. So Iron Mike Tyson's eye now closing up. Touches him with that left punch. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now he's going full mount. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. He's got to be careful here. Gotta be careful here. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Under three minutes now to go in the round. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the guard. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You can put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels... That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent look very bad. Oh, really doing a nice job timing this shot, staying busy in this round. Sides here. Massive left hand. Oh! Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs. Shot by the defensive fighter. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Oh, that's big. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And now a left. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a test his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend him, and make the fight happen where he wants to. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly... What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, tie, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elevator. It's just crazy. Lands a good combination. Keep that head moving. Head moving. Oh, man. Oh, oh he hurt him again. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work. The swelling is starting to occur. Oh! He heard him. Big head kick! Oh. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every huh. shot, these guys are trying to end the stop, stop, fight. What a start. Stop. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Tyson's eye has looked a whole lot better, DC. We'll see what the cut man can do to sort of stem the tide with the swelling. But if he's not able to get it to come down, that eye could swell shut. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Round three of a possible five. All right, next 
round is underway, you know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to chase down Epic. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. So Iron Mike Tyson's eye is essentially swollen shot at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in Daniel and stop this fight right now. It's hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Beautiful punch to the body. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. That shot there. Take down defenses there. Nice oh, nice body shot. Oh, oh huge left. Oh. oh, he hurt him again, bro. Tyson's taking aim at that cut right now. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, big left! Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down. He wants to get his opponent out of this fight. All right, so the big story around in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks, and I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here once? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force, and his opponent is starting to wear down. He's just there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his arm is out for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango. And man, have these two individuals tango tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one is. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get... Oh, accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, just open it up on him now. And back to his feet. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Oh. Oh, nice. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. Oh, my goodness. 
I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So, big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but since crossing over from boxing, it has been all systems go for the former boxing champion.